Hi all my Toasty Buns and welcome back to the Toast channel. This is your host Toast and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Alice restaurant in Ikebukuro today. So I went to this restaurant, there's three of them in Tokyo. This one is the Alice in Old Castle Country. It was so cute. The other ones are as well and I can't wait to tell you about them soon. I went to this restaurant with Chelsea, a fellow teacher and like influencer in Japan, so look forward to seeing more of her stuff. The restaurant does have an English menu and they do accept cards, so very international friendly. It was very worth it, so I do also recommend it. We went in without a reservation, which you can do. You can set one if you want to sit in a specific area, so on their website they have different locations where you can choose to sit like under the chandelier if you don't mind you feel free to walk in and see what they have available one more thing about alice and old council castle country this restaurant location is open for lunch and dinner it's closed in between so you'll want to double check on when it's open it's also closed on mondays I'll put a link to this restaurant's Google map listing and their website so that way you can double check before you plan your visit. Getting to the restaurant was a little bit confusing so we got out of at Ikebukuro station there's so many different exits you can pick. Coming from the Metropolitan Gate you'll just want to keep heading east and then we look for the red and white sign like and it went to red and black and white staircase going down like a spiral staircase. You're gonna go down to the basement floor. So once we have located the signs and kind of found the restaurant, we go down and we meet the front desk staff. They have like a, I think it was either a white rabbit theme or, you know, March hare theme. It was very, very cute, of course. So they help us uh, create the, not reservation, but like help us um, sign in for two people. Uh, and then we noticed the staff that brings us to our table. It's all Alice themed, like all the servers have like Alice outfits on. It's so cute. They do bring us like an English speaking waitress and we had an English menu. So very helpful. As we get seated, we just notice how cute everything is and take a moment to kind of admire it. We decided to split several different dishes so you can kind of see a variety of what we got. They do have different set menu options if you want to do those, but on the day we noticed that none of the set menus had any vegetarian options. It was either like a beef thing or chicken. So we just picked the menu items that sounded most interesting and I'm glad that we took that route. It was very worth it. We got a surprise dish before we got anything that we ordered, which was really cute. It brought us out a corn soup that was just extra and it was complimentary. It was a hot corn soup in a little cup and it had a little cracker with it and it had like, you know, eat me, drink me signs. It was very Alice themed and very cute. The drinks also came out. I forgot the exact names of the ones we ordered, but they were both very iconic. I'm showing you here. The first main item that came out was our salad. We got the singing Alice salad. It was so worth it because the server will uh, mix the salad and the dressing at your table and sing as uh, she's mixing it. And it was, it was uh, so cute. Hopefully you don't get me get tired of me saying how cute these things are. Something that we noticed about the salad, but we didn't notice until after we had ordered it, is there are bacon pieces in the salad. So if you have, if you cannot eat meat, do be aware of that. Uh, the menu, of course, doesn't point out which items are vegetarian or non-vegetarian. So um, you have to communicate with the staff or get someone who's fluent to check on these things for you. The thing that came out was our scallops with shrimp and butter. This was another good addition to the food. The scallops with butter, I mean, it's not very kawaii, but it was very tasty. So I'm still glad that we had it. Next thing that came out was the pasta. We got a seafood pasta. And it helped because, uh, I mean, the size of food types wasn't that big for, for uh, it was just kind of a small pasta, a small salad. So, so it helped us get a little bit more sustenance 
flavor wise it was good but like probably a little plain uh for pasta i was kind of expecting more of an oomph i guess um or more cheese or something but it was kind of plain but i mean hey you're at this kind of place for the decor i guess more so than the food so the, sa the pasta was okay <laughs> After we got all of our main items, we moved on to the desserts. So we got the really cute like white rabbit parfait. So it has little rabbit ear cookies and a little like colorful cheesecake and colorful like whipped cream on top of the parfait which has several layers like a cereal layer and like a cream layer. It was very delicious. Uh, I think this was the menu item that was like the most worth it because you could tell how much effort and planning went into every little detail of this parfait. But I also just love parfaits in Japan because they have so much detail and so much going on there. It was really sweet so I'm glad that I was splitting it. Like eating half was just right. But other than that, like, it was so cute and I was glad that we got it. It was very worth it to see, like, in person, like, the, the cuteness. Alright, so the last thing is the bill. Like I mentioned at the top, you don't have to have cash, you can pay with card if you like. Oh, I feel like I'm in a fantasy world. <laughs> so, let's go! It's kind of magical in here. It is, it's so cute! My overall impressions of the Alice restaurant were good. I loved the attentiveness of the staff. Yeah, that was the Alice restaurant in Ikebukuro. Uh, what questions do you have for me? Do you want to see cute cafes? Where do you want to visit and go to when you visit Japan? Let me tell you about more cute otaku and cool things to see when you come. Hit me up, hit my comments section, whatever, I am here. Thank you for joining me again today, and I hope that you have a good one. Bye-bye!